Manny Williams and um, four months ago I had a, a quite a bad accident in the surf. I broke my heel and um, it bled a lot and it caused a hematoma that was pressing on my nerve on the inside of my foot, the size of a tennis ball, the surgeon said, and they didn't know what was quite happening. I was in emergency for four hours and lots of drugs and things didn't respond to any of that. So they realised um, the nerve was getting pressured and it was trapped, so they had to do a fasciotomy to open up the, le the foot and release the hematoma. The surgeon said the nerve was unrecognisable, it was so traumatised. Um, so that was a very traumatic sort of event. Then I had to go back in a week to have plate and screw put in. Um, wonderful surgeon, all went really well. Um, and been struggling really ever since. A um, few episodes of, you know, I was in a boot for two months, no weight bearing at all. When I got into physio, I, and even before that, um, you could take the boot off and try and move the foot. I would have these episodes of very painful burning and a stinging and um, very sensitive sole of my foot. Um, and I sort of thought it was all part of the process, but it's um, a month ago those symptoms got a lot worse and were constant. So I had um, a lot of burning pain, a lot of nervy sort of pain, stinging. I couldn't touch my foot, I couldn't bear, put bare sort of weight on my foot, it was so sensitive underneath. Um, it would turn <laughs> a really weird sort of blue-red colour. Um, very swollen, a lot of inflammation and um, it was starting to move through my body, the sort of nerve sensation would be travelling up my shin and my calf and into my thigh and into my other leg and my right foot was sort of going out in sympathy exactly the line of where the surgery was. So I went to my GP and she said, look, you've got reflex sympathetic dystrophy syndrome where your brain... Um, can't come off the sympathetic response to this trauma site and it keeps sending signals that it's in trauma and it's in pain and it has to relieve that so that causes all these symptoms and it's like a cycle, a highway in your mind that's triggered by a very traumatic accident or, or surgery and um, it's very very hard to break the cycle she said so she gave me um, in depth, in depth 10 milligrams, which I didn't take for the first few days. When she said, you've got to break the cycle, I thought of you, Chris, and coming to see you. After one treatment of physio key and one end up, my foot had settled down tremendously, colour had returned. It's so dramatic, the change, and, um, and it's just continued to get better. I've had four treatments now. I'm starting to bear weight on my foot naturally. I'm still on crutches, but... Um, um, it's so much more stable. Every treatment it gets better. The movement has been extraordinary. The way Chris very skillfully helped me move my foot using the physio key, using his experience and knowledge. I, I, I'm moving the foot almost as good as my good foot now. Um, and these results are really something you've got to see to believe. Physio key is sort of outside the box of sort of traditional sort of mechanistic medicine. Um, but if you're suffering from any sort of pain condition um, or injury, um, I just really encourage you to come and see Chris at NS Health Australia. Um, I just c couldn't, couldn't say a bigger thank you to both Chris and Lisa for all the help they've given me in my recovery. First seeing Chris, not being able to put any weight on my foot, and I'm walking beautifully. Hi, it's two, just two months after I first saw Chris, and I'm walking beautifully, no pain, and um, just absolutely thrilled with the result.